I actually came to Ann Arbor because of the books, in part because I was working at a Borders in Ohio, and I transferred to a Borders in Michigan, but uh, at, at Arborland in Ar Ann Arbor. But I actually, you know, at that time when I worked at Borders, you could really transfer to any place in the country and really internationally. But I wanted to move to Ann Arbor because the first time I stepped foot onto Liberty Street in downtown Ann Arbor uh, about 20 years ago and saw that there were about probably five independent bookstores within walking distance just on one block, I said, this is where I want to be. So. So I moved to Ann Arbor. I was working at Borders for a few years. And after leaving Borders, I, um, uh, I started to managing an independent bookstore um, on Main Street called Crazy Wisdom Bookstore. And I managed that for 11 years. Um, and I left there about four years ago. But during that time, I got to uh, really see what it um, takes, you know, the challenges of running um, an independent bookstore. And at the same time, I, I got to know a lot of the owners and managers of the other local independent bookstores downtown um, and, and around town. And I got to really see what a labor of love it is to own a bookstore and operate a bookstore. And, um, you know, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one opens a bookstore to make it rich, you know. Uh, they open a bookstore because they think that, that books have value and they want to give access to books uh, to their community. So I really got to know a lot of those bookstores. And, um, you know, uh, so part of me having this organization was to, uh, you know, my love of the bookstores. But, you know, uh, Borders left and it closed in 2011. And um, in 2013, there was a rumor on the street that there was going to be a new independent bookstore coming into downtown Ann Arbor, which was going to be Literati Bookstore. Uh, and, you know, this is, as a preface, you know, this isn't a slight against Literati. Literati's actually done phenomenal work since they've opened. They've contributed greatly to the um, book culture in Ann Arbor, um, most notably by putting us on the map in 2019 when they were uh, named nationally as the bookstore of the year. Uh, so, so they've actually done a great deal since the time they've opened um, to contribute to Ann Arbor's book culture. And incidentally, another bookstore opened around the same time in 2013, Bookbound, and on the north side, and they've all also contributed greatly to the book culture. But, but the word on the street and in the media um, at this time was, uh, thank goodness, you know, Ann Arbor is going to get a bookstore again. And um, I came from, you know, Northeast Ohio. My bookstore was a Walden Books at the mall 45 minutes away, you know, and I was so surprised to to hear, you know, the media and people on the street saying, oh my goodness, we're getting a bookstore. And, you know, having myself be managing an impact independent bookstore downtown and knowing a lot of the owners of these bookstores, you know, we had um, Aunt Agatha's, which was a award-winning mystery bookshop and uh, Vault of Midnight, an award-winning comic book shop that has since expanded to Detroit and Grand, Rap uh, Grand Rapids. And, um, you know, Nicola's, which is still the largest independent general bookstore on the west side in Ann Arbor was operating. And there are several um, well-loved specialty and used bookstores that had been around at that time for already all 30 years. And so, so it was really surprising to me that people were thinking, oh, we're getting a bookstore in Ann Arbor again. And I thought, wow, there's a real disconnect here um, between what I know to be a book town and what people think um, of Ann Arbor. So I just really felt like there was an opportunity for me to, to help people to see what I see um, in Ann Arbor and um, get them to be excited and celebrate it.